Good morning folks, welcome back, how's the side of the place, Slay the Spire, we're doing a silent run, as I just checked. I think we won Ironclaw last time, because I made a note in my head to remember, and because I'm open this game, uh, that part of the memory got, uh, got triggered. But that is irrelevant knowledge for now. Choose a card to obtain, uh, red and red, common relic, pink curse. Hmm. Choose a card. Backflip is always good. Why am I looking to this side? I don't need to, but... Alright, maybe you want to tilt the little... Go to monitor a little bit. You can see different mic setup. The, the microphone is, is moved. I'm trying to uh, do something else where I get more space on this side, but uh, it's making me look to this second monitor for no reason. A lot more often now. Uh, I saw this is the way. Sure, I mean, getting back into it. Nothing too crazy. Defend. Alright. Get E to enter. Cool. Uh, just another morning, but here's the thing. Have a different series coming up, I think. Just to have a little bit of variety here. Also, you know, I have fun playing different things myself. So that's for my own benefit as well. Uh, I'm gonna play some Dominion. And from the browser too. So it's one of those games that you're just loading a web browser. Takes some time to set up. Uh, the... Ooh, 20 damage. I mean, still weaken. Just full defend, right? Yeah. Uh, set up all the new screen capture regions. Browser's a little bit... Not a little bit more complicated, just a little bit more different. There's no lethal here. Give me a survivor. What do I draw? No guarantees. So I should do damage here. Just in case I can do lethal next turn. How much do you gain armor wise? A lot apparently. But that's still enough to break through. Uh, we had a backflip. That's a draw. With draw, I like to go for shivs. So maybe you have a shift deck coming. And yeah, always gather gold. Maybe I'm sleeping on the HP a little bit. Maybe I am, and that is great. Interesting things, okay. I'm one damage off lethal if I use the, the shift on you, so we just do things this way. It's fine. The backflip is nice. Just defend, there's no reason to take damage against this enemy. Oh wait, he's not dead! <laughs> well, so much for not taking damage. It's early in the morning. Mm. Ah, uh, ship deck, accuracy, yes. Now, what else is there? I did, uh, oh, losing a lot of more health than I would like to lose. Probably have the rest here. 210 gold. I'll, I'll try to remember and continue my train of thought after this, but uh, bear with me. Blind the bomb. We have, a we have a defensive deck. Maybe the bomb is uh, the way to get through. I think it is a bomb. And if you fight the sentries in one of the elite fights, we got off easy. I think this is a rest situation. You know what? Let's uh, let's let's do the safe play. Now my point is that when I play these browser games, a lot of them don't have a soundtrack, which you know makes sense. So what ended up happening is that I had to go and find some uh, royalty-free music content playlists on YouTube's. I don't think we accuracy, I think we just go for it. Three turns? Sure. If we last three turns. I think the, the healing was extremely important that we did. At the end of three turns you have 40 damage, so if I do this you're done. If I do cloak and dagger you're done. But I gotta block one more turn, so... 
I'm not sure if that's a, a good idea. I think next turn we block? At the end of this turn, deal 40 damage. So we should have blocked last turn. That just, uh, that's just bad. I don't know how the bomb works. It's very, like, I don't get it too often. Or Kalkin. At the end of the turn without, if you have, if you end your turn without block, gain 6 block. Okay, that was the example where my brain knew what the card did, so I just tried to explain it without reading the text. And then halfway through, I read the text and it just all scrambled up. It's all, it's all over by that time. Two of the trade, that is start of the turn, draw a card, discard a card. We have the new powers of mouse and pointer, and uh, with that, no problem. So I'll pick up that card now. On the controller, it's a little bit pain in the ass to play. Regal Pillow, we rescue additional 15. That is quite useful as we're having no health. And let me tell you, because of the bomb, and we fought uh, with the gremlin, I'm gonna take another elite. Also, as you I just I want the heal. The heal will be useful for me right now. With the accuracy, the shiv is better. Good first turn. Right, choose a card to discard. Of course. Bomb. Defend. So then, just try to get used to the pattern here, right? You strike, you discard, okay. And then the next turn. I don't need to do anything, the combat just ends. Okay. So you play, you survive the turn, and you go. Uh, slice, deal 5 damage. Now, accuracy works with shifts only. Now, it's not like the, the wrist blade, the relic, that does bonus damage for all zero cost cards. So let's skip for now. There's no need for a 2 mana cost attack in this deck. So we'll rest. I don't know what is bomb upgraded. Let's take a look. 50 damage, eh. and this is innate? No, it costs zero. Oh, it's not free yet. In my mind, it was already free. And beautiful, the perfect uh, enemy to, to be taking. Uh, backflip. Let me tell you, two of trade feels annoying to play. Feels like I don't need it, but let's do that. The bomb deals 40 damage to all, so if you just we just gotta draw the bomb and survive. That's that's our entire purpose here. So that is still good because we wanna get him below. So it's bomb, shiv, and the shiv brings you below 40. We just gotta not die, which is a tall order apparently. I think we got there. Okay, so you know, good choice to pick up the bomb. Really hard carry, and it stacks too. I forgot that sometimes. But the explosion, everything blows up. Sundial, every three times you shuffle a drop pile, gain two energy. Isn't it so much easier to just read what's in front of you instead of just trying to like get ahead of it? Backflip number two. Hmm. A glass knife is really good. I'll take the glass knife. It's a rare card, worth taking. What is my boss? But you know, if you don't, you don't, if you do not ever smith, you never get there. Can't just rest through everything. Uh, accuracy, there's not enough ships yet. Two for trade. You see how even mouse and point, even for mouse pointer, I hate playing this card. You understand why? It's just, it's just too much work. But if we plan to keep this in our deck, we should upgrade it. Now, if you get the purple spirit, I might eat this card, and that makes it hilarious I'm taking it up. Blade Dance is excellent, so is Caltrops, but definitely Lake Sweep. Yikes. <laughs> now, do we do blocks and Caltrops? I don't think we could. Removal versus Lake Sweep, I think it's Lake Sweep. Defend and bomb, right? Bomb is our win condition too. So Lake Sweep is probably a better pick here, and then we can't pick up anything else except for the Blade Dance, which we will. We have some minor synergies there. That was fine. Do we dare to fight this boss with only 30 health? 
You know, as the famous mama said, who dares wins? And by famous, I mean me. The bomb does not need to be upgraded, I think. Like 50 damage, 40 damage, same difference. You play either, you either have to play it once, or you gotta play it twice. That's kind of the way I see it. Except for, you know, fighting bosses. That's kind of where the... Where things may differ slightly for you. Now the backflip doesn't do us justice here. This does max damage, which is important because we need to change his uh, mode this turn. And he does, uh, he has 20 whatever damage right now. The 16. So he has 21 health. And that's enough, right? So we just simply go glass knife. And then please uh, do not bug me with your massive attack. Not gonna strike. Again, as I said, not gonna strike. <laughs> that doesn't count. Uh, the bomb, there we go. So gotta play this. Minus all cloak. Oh, should not have cloaked. I just put garbage in my deck. Weaken is good. Yeah, I put garbage in my deck. Yikes. Choose a card to discard, I think. Because I cannot topple him. It's just, it, this is fine. Lake Sweep, Survivor, gets me around. And the bomb, I need to think about this way. The bomb is not a win condition yet. It doesn't kill. It only does a bunch of damage. And we're defensively weak. Like now he blows up, changes form. He attacks and what do we do now? We can't attack him so all of our cloaks are actually not good. Backflip is what's good. Into defense. Burn the shivs out of our deck because uh, that was a mistake. Six block. See, that's a, that's a situation. We dealt one damage to him, so that was uh, <laughs> a lot of play for nothing. For no, no benefits, really. Uh, regular strike is a sleeper thing. We do not deal with that. We do care about applying Neutralize, and then defend. 12 damage for 3, I guess I'll I'll take that damage. Now 20. Yikes. And the choose between Lake Sweep or the Bomb. I don't think I have a choice. I mean, I know I'm not playing the Strike, but I think I have to play this to not die. Pretty much. And uh, 1 damage versus 9 damage. 1 damage on me versus 10 da uh, 9 damage on him. Uh, not the biggest fan of this. But the Sundial, I wish that happened earlier. We're gonna discard. I mean, just a strike for sure. Yeah, we have the mana to play everything. We can Blade Dance, Cloak. He changed, which actually may be a bad thing. Remember we have a Gambler's Brew? Oh, I like this hand. This is a hand that means we can actually probably block twice and attack once. I mean, it literally meant that. Okay, just gotta block and survive, right? The bomb, I think, has to be played. It has to be played. I mean, I'm not gonna strike. So right now we're dead, but if we block one thing, we're not dead. So I think we play the bomb, we defend one thing, and that means we have 5 health remaining. If we survive this turn, we do not die. Everything should be min max or survival here, so we discard... Uh, actually, he's not, he's not lethal yet. Definitely not strike. Neutralize, he deals 12. Still dead, no longer dead. Actually fully defended. And he's one health from, we gotta do one damage next turn. So we're good. A Little bit spiced. Needed to think through my turns a little bit, but we got there and we even have our Calcum. Didn't even think about that. Could have just not defended in one of those uh, turns where he's, he's also in defensive mode and then 
Maybe we do something good there. Perks Explosion doesn't do anything for us. Ch uh, choose a card next turn after three copies without clicking through your hand. Nightmare is interesting. I can do that to a shiv. But three mana for three shivs is like. That's, that sounds terrible, actually, in retrospect. I'll take Alchemize, but here's the thing if I can make a Sozo after, right, right after this. Yeah, like if I do exactly what I'm about to do, that card is pointless. That card is actually more pointless than like a strike right now. Or I can double the effectiveness of potions because of alchemize. But you know, that's uh That's not good. Now am I happy about getting Sozo? A Suzo? Sozu? Oh my god. I don't know why my brain just like shut off halfway through that sentence, but uh, I mean, yes, of course, it's always a good thing to get this thing, uh, to get that card. And you know, this enemy, massive yikes, and the bomb is perfect. It doesn't matter who I stop attacking, you're all gonna just do damage to me, like a dick as you are, and then we are fully blocked, so. Don't need to be too fancy, we just gotta block you. I remember we have more we have more energy now. I was going off this thinking that we don't have energy. Now this does 40. I'm not sure it's reduced. I don't think the damage is reduced, but just in case I'm gonna swipe you. And then bring one of you to ground. I misclicked, so never mind. And never mind anyways. I was pretty confident. Like only, only a shiver of doubt, not like a lot of doubt. That would have worked. Um, Alchemize is a waste of, waste of life, honestly. Yeah, feels bad. Would I pay energy to burn out my deck? Yes. Shivs are getting there. Shivs are definitely getting there. I think this is a. Worst game where ships can get there for me, but in retrospect, I have the energy, so why not play it? I've like, with three energy, I would have just like skipped the bomb and then go for a shiv. But uh, here, you see, we just block. Yikes! Three block. The six block. I'd rather do that damage in there. I mean, for it's not like I'd rather not take damage, but that was three HP, right? That's that's all I can accomplish in that turn. I have the bomb going off, right? He's dead. Or Cal can block for more if I don't block. Uh, footwork two decks or cloak. I think it's cloak. Very interesting. Receive 5 Apparitions, lose 35 max HP, uh, we gain Intangibility. Our turns are a lot about buying time. But I think let's not do it. I don't know, it's like, I, I understand it could be really powerful for my current build. Maybe I'm letting it hold back. I'm letting, you know, myself hold myself back. Gotta make one more who dares wins kind of kind of decisions, but uh, didn't feel like it was necessary in that particular situation. Reduces your armor. Or you know what? How much are we blocked? We're not blocked, right? We are blocked now. Okay. So if we're blocked, then let's just uh, whittle down your armor a little bit. We do massive damage next turn, but he's gonna do twenty. Man, I hate these cards. I hate these cards. You know what, Gambler's Brew? Better cards. He's on to 23. You're right, 15 plus 50 percent. Yeah, it's uh. Thank you for for uh. 
for Sundial, because otherwise I was going to make some tough decisions about what to play. But no longer would I have to do something like that. Instead, I just take two damage and uh, survive this turn, please. Why do I feel like I'm getting... I feel like I have inevitability on me, like I'm, I'm dying. I got this, right? I must, I must get this. The bomb goes off again. Maybe upgrade the bomb, but I think the shiv is gonna be like... You have the, the curve, right? The bomb's carrying us, and then the shiv is like ramping up, and then it's gonna carry us for the rest of the game. You gotta do that. Dagger throw, 12 damage, draw, discard. It's actually not terrible. Escape plan, draw a card, draw a skill, and 3 block. I mean, it's draw neutral. It costs 0. So it's, maybe I should have picked up Explain plan on the first floor where I saw it. Upgrade a card. Yes, please. Upgrade... Uh, either I go for the bomb or I go for accuracy. Like cloak number 2, for example. Book number two. I realize there's a at least there's a rest and we have uh, the Rico pillow. Just gotta not die here. That's a very tall word to ask on this enemy. Maybe I should have upgraded the bomb. Have you ever thought about that? We can. That's the best we can target. So can't ask more. Cannot ask for more than that. We need to defend Survivor. And if we don't do that, let's just dump the Alchemize. We know we're not going to use it. We need to do max damage somehow. Now let's do the total. Are we dead? Not dead, but we're taking 6 damage. Okay. Draw a card. Free block. Very welcome. More draw, please. And we just play everything. I want the perfect... We can hit you with uh, We're not commit this potion guaranteed, so let's just use it. Huh? Six? Eight? I'll use all my attack to kill one of you? There's no smarter way to deal with it. It's just the worst possible situation. Okay. I mean, we take another seven, but at least. You know, we're fighting a limited number of enemies now. We're not gonna play the strike. The bomb is still the win condition here, but I think we needed to have, uh... We needed to play the kill wound to lower the incoming damage. Now we just uh, work of bringing everybody below 40 while staying alive. We're gonna heal next turn. Just gotta not die this turn. That's a tall order with wounds being drawn. Are we dead? I mean, gotta do this. That is good. So we survive, we live. And uh, we did. I didn't look at my HP or do the math because that was all I could do. And this turn, it doesn't matter what we do because we are, have already won. A little bit spice, but that was close. Strike dummy. Cars can even strike, deal three additional damage. Let me tell you. That makes the fact that we didn't remove a single strike this game yet more more tolerable, you know? Less of a problem. Less of a tough pill to swallow. We have one backflip. So I'll take a second one. I like having two cloaks and two backflips in my deck. In an archetype such as this one. Healing up back to 44. Still tough, but I'm ready. Alchemize is just the worst thing. The worst thing. Okay. Stay with me. I'm gonna accuracy, lake sweep, and just cloak. I know there's more potent plays, maybe, but uh, I'm fine with this. We're fully blocked. Perfectly fully blocked. I didn't do the math up front, but that seems like a good scaling kind of play. Just get both accuracies out there, dude. Cloak. That's a beautiful thing. Deals 10 each? Yo. We gang there. Now, let me tell you, I don't like the fact that uh, our neutralize is not even upgraded. 
normally I will upgrade it by now, but the bomb counter this dude pretty hard. I think so. He summons dudes. We build them up the next turn. So I uh, don't like this. Deals ten. Twenty. I can't kill both of you. That is resin. I had to kill one of you to not die. Apparently. Oh, work welcome. Okay, I mean, still a lot of damage incoming. That's for sure. We're not defending this turn. We go all out because uh, there's a bomb going off, and we already got gotcha. you. Might as well play the last card. So now just gotta this. This has to be the finishing touch. Has to be. It simply must be. Any of this? Okay, we somehow survived. A little bit, a little bit spice. Specimen. Whenever enemy dies, transfer poison it has to random enemy. So good for a poison archetype, but uh, obviously we do not have such uh, options. Now that makes crippling cloud playable. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I see two rests on this path. I, I'm not even gonna. Think too much about it. When you rest, you may add a card. Thank you, because I were gonna rest, and then the optionality is great. Yeah, yeah. One hour maneuver. I will not add that card too many times. So I have two draw engines. Maybe if you have an acrobatics in there, it'll make me even more likely to do it. But, uh. Do I go and go for a third elite? We're guaranteed, right? We fought two elites already on this floor. We fought the. Uh, the slavers we fought. Uh, was that the only elite we fought? What do you fight here? The gremlin. Sorry, we just fought the gremlin. The slavers, the gremlin leader. What is this boss? Is it the uh, the snake girl? The fact that I can't remember bothers me. You know the problems of old age. Ah, Sneko. Oh no. Oh no 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 no! I regret everything. You know what? Burn the alchemize out of my deck. I want that event that lets me eat a card to the purple spirits, so then just eat alchemize and actually get some benefit out of this card. Might as well draw. This does no damage really, so let me pay it forward. I think I want to upload, upgrade the accuracies at, at this point, actually. Sure, because everything costs zero, so let's just play everything in this order. That was a. Uh, that worked out pretty well. I'm gonna lie. When things work out, it's a good thing. I'm gonna roll. I lost the roll, but there's nothing to do. Uh, if I just attack, I can get one more block for our Calcum, but I want to backflip into a one mana of something. And anything would be okay there. Yeah, dump the two mana strike. Who cares? Exit plan. Oh, wait a minute. I could have killed. 12, 9, 9. Hold on. That's 30. That's not enough. That's spent six. Terrible. Just terrible. Why would you do this to me? Three additional damage for no reason. We need to block this turn. Uh, we could kill this turn. Pretty confident that you're deceased. Four. Okay. So the the cards are mapped to numbers on the keyboard, but uh, I, I wasn't sure which one's which. Blindly pick one and press it, you know? I uh, don't fit in the deck anymore. 28 already. Feels bad. We're gonna dodge the elite. We're not gonna fight it. So, I will smith. And I think we gotta... If we didn't invest in the bomb yet, I know it's only one investment. We gotta go for the alternative win conditions. You gotta... You gotta feed your carries a little bit more. Lose escape plan, get a relic. Why can't you take my alchemize, you know? But, sure, Garia, you can now gain strength. 
at the rest sites. Now, I don't think that's good. And this is a combat where I actually do want the bomb. Did not get a bomb, so Crypting Cloud is kind of the equivalent in some messed up world that you make up. And they all uh, they all gain this rich roll. Bomb, please. No bomb. No bomb. Okay. So I think we we beeline for one of you. That is our play. We're blocked, so let's just keep on going. So at least the poison will transfer, right? The poison should transfer. The bomb comes here, but you know. Then we gotta work things down evenly now, because we can't kill. 4 4 9. Sorry, that's, that's enough to kill. So I guess that is a. Uh, never mind, we're going to kill. It's just a good way to reduce damage incoming. Taking 10. Not a big fan. Dump the Alchemize, please. We can. What do you want me to do here? I'll maneuver behind. Like, come on. So, end of this turn, we win if we do one damage to you. We have seven energy. God damn it. I wish my sign die always played better. I wish everything happened one turn earlier, but you know, I couldn't control if I dry or not. Acrobatics? Yes. I did talk about how I wanted one acrobatics and two uh, two backflips. That's where I'm at. I mean, we can always heal. I'm not gonna worry too much about the lift. Uh, Caltrops. Do we actually have enough defense? It's not insane, right? Not incredible amount of defense. But I think we're we're like a cloak and dagger guy, right? We defend, we throw our daggers. So I think this kind of archetype works for L for us. Should think before you play. So for example, defend blocks less than than not playing it. So let's just play a regular strike. Finally, using this brain, you know, we're carrying this weight all in this head here. And for the first time in our lives, we're using it. Uh, this is a bomb block. More block. We're not gonna be able to use it. We drew into the second cloak, which makes me sad. You feet forward. Two defense does the same as our Calcum. We may die here. Gonna be very honest with you, that is very possible. And if we do, the, uh, you know, cease to exist, I want you to know it's probably not my fault. It's the game's fault. You always blame, you always blame something else. Always blame someone else. Now, I can dump the alchemize, but I'd rather, I'd rather exhaust the alchemize and do less damage. Better draws, right? I think the more consistent draw will be more relevant than 6 damage in this combat. Okay, this is great because we have energy from Sundial. Oh no, we have uh, the maneuver. And we got a lot of draws this time. And that is just a, it's a beautiful thing. Lake Sweep to keep you weak. Oh, don't mind if I do. Blade Dance. I understand that we didn't play the acrobatics even with all this energy. We probably overblocked, but. Uh, yeah, we definitely did that. That was probably... There's a way for me to sit there, think about it longer, and do a better play, but... You know... Ain't about that kind of life right now. We played all of our powers. Sundial, thank you. We say thank you to Sundial. I love to have the energy carry over, please. Next turn gain 3 energy. My shivs do 12. He's in the buff. 
He's gonna buff. Okay, this turn. Please give me draws. I did not want to see this. I just sent over energy like crazy, and then he's only buffing, and I cannot do damage with him. Well, that's a run there. That's a wrap. We're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Choose a card to discard. To discard, I mean, unless... There's, there's really no unless here. We're not gonna attack at all. Full defense turn. This is the highest defense card we can do. And this is the second highest defense card we can muster. Alright. There was no kill there. That's a created. A nap sounds good. Sounds good indeed. Score 437. This has been Costas Belly Plays. Slay the Spire. A little bit of a choked up run here. Maybe we didn't commit fully into you know, the bomb archetype. We maybe, maybe went too aggressive for the elite hunting. But you know. It is what it is. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time. See ya.